So, and our brain is always protecting us. Stupid brain, stupid brain, I hate my brain. I mean, I love my brain, but sometimes it's really such a bitch. Hi guys, it's Alicia here, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Alicia, as you heard already. This channel is all about art, everything related to drawing, creating, being creative, and maybe some other topics in the future. I don't know. Today I'm going to talk about art blog. Wait, seriously, it's like the topic of this video and I don't know how to pronounce it. You know what? How do you pronounce it? Art block. It sounds so weird. Jesus. Oh, art block. Art block. <clears throat> so, yeah, today we're going to talk about art block. And I hate using this word. Can you use something else? I just feel like a Neanderthal when I try to say art block. Why do we as artists have such a hard time to actually do what we love. It's really, really annoying and I'm sure everyone experiences art block. So anyone who creates has an art block sometimes. Everything in this video will be my philosophical thoughts, like what I'm thinking about when I'm bored. And we are going to talk about being bored. So listen, listen very well because it's going to be really important. Why do we have art block? It's because we don't really get bored anymore. You need to get bored to want to create something. Most of the artists draw since they were little. We just like to draw and that's basically our talent because I don't really believe in talent. I believe that some people just really enjoy drawing and that's how they become better. And people see it as talent, although it's just our hard work. But anyway, so we get bored. When I was little, I get bored really often. Not so often, but pretty often. What I was doing, I was drawing for hours. Like my grandma was buying me whole 50 sheets paper every week and I was drawing everything every week and I was even short on my paper sheets. So yeah, I, I just really enjoyed it. And if I was home, I was drawing. Right now, it's difficult for me, way difficult, more difficult than uh, when I was little, because I have my phone. <laughs> That's basically the freaking answer, because we have our phones now and we have a choice. A really, really easy entertainment right here and not so easy entertainment that you need to get into and it isn't really always so enjoyable because you make so many mistakes and Sometimes you hate yourself because you think that you don't can't draw anymore and and you see so many people being better than you and I think being on your phone is like the easiest thing you can do. Like sleeping is harder. Falling asleep is harder than just taking your phone and scrolling through social media. It's just way too easy and way too addictive. So what you need to do? Now you know sort of how does it happen, but how to fix it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know. I, I, I know for everyone it's a little bit different. For me, for example, I am home whole day and a lot of you too because of quarantine and everything that's happening in this world. When you are home whole day, you just get more addicted to your phone or your TV. I don't know, I don't have a TV home. I never liked TV. And your day just becomes one big soup of mixed. Like you don't even have routine, everything, eating, peeing, pooping, uh, sleeping, social media, everything is just like mixed together and it's a soup, soup of things that you are doing in a day and you don't even know when, what and you don't have to do anything besides eating, peeing and pooping and sleeping. Because when you work, it was so much easier for me to draw when I was working actually, because I would just say I'm coming back from work and I am going to eat something and I'm going to draw immediately and that's what that's just what I was doing and now I just have my whole day and it's hard to say okay I'm going to begin drawing at 10 a.m. and actually do it I can say it but I most of, most of the time I just don't do it but anyway so getting bored seems like the biggest enemy for our brain right now, but it's actually our biggest ally. 
So you need to understand that getting bored and actually sitting like on your couch and not watching TV, not having your phone somewhere in your hand, scrolling, scrolling through social media, you just need to sit and be bored. Be irritated with your thoughts and you will have like this itch to, to take your phone and to, to scroll through social media because we just hate to be bored. It's really, it's really annoying, but we as people, we hate to be bored and our phone just makes it so easy to not be bored. So you need to take that itch, you need to fight it and see your phone like it's out of the question. It's not in your options. And when you will be bored like this and you will not be able to take your phone, you will think of other things. Maybe things that you used to enjoy before you were addicted to social media because to be honest, everyone is addicted to social media. Yeah. But when you get bored, I, I'm sure if you ever enjoyed drawing, you will just seriously go and draw. Maybe it will not be like you're super excited and everything to go and draw, but it will be like so much easier to do drawing instead of being bored when your phone is not there to make the job of making you uh, entertained so much easier. So. The point of this video, get bored sometimes. You need to get bored. You need to, being bored for me, I have ADHD, all right? For me, getting bored is like the biggest, it's like hell, all right? It's, it's hell for me. I hate get, getting bored. Like, what, whoa. I have a really high chance of getting addicted to literally everything and I actually cannot do you get addicted to anything? I like playing League of Legends, right? I am deleting League of Legends from my computer every few months because I get so addicted that I don't do anything else in a day. And there comes just a time when I lose and I'm so frustrated and I find this little second or a minute that I'm frustrated enough to delete this stupid game and I delete it and when it's deleted, I can just Play, I, I can download and install it again, but it just takes so much more time, so it's not so easy anymore to go and play this stupid game. Toxic, also really toxic, Jesus Christ. Um, so, where was I? Yeah, addictive. <laughs> so, what I am struggling with a lot in my life is not to get addicted to this really easy entertainment. When I make it more difficult for me to get really easily entertained, uh, really easy entertained, I immediately, my arm block just goes away. Because I don't think an arm block is something like you're just not creative, you just can't draw, you, it's just you don't have the motivation to draw. That's what it is, I think. It's the same like burnout, you know? You just lack the motivation to do something you did a lot. And another thing that you can do is just keep the inspiration somewhere in your room. Because I would recommend you to just go on Pinterest and scroll through some inspirations of your favorite artist or like on Instagram. It's a good thing, but the bad thing, at least for me, is that I go on Instagram and I search for, for some inspiration and I end up watching some memes for an hour or two. It's really bad and we actually have to fight social media. It's really, it's really crazy but we have to fight it because it's our biggest enemy against our dreams, against everything. It doesn't mean that you can't use social media. You can, of course. It's it's a nice thing, it's a, just like TV. You can watch TV sometimes, like an hour a day, two hours a day. It can, but it just sometimes gets so much that you don't do anything else in your free time. And your free time is there to for you to get creative, to learn something, I don't know, get better at the things you love, you know? It can be such a good time for you, but it's just too easy to make it 
enjoyable without any effort. So, and our brain is always protecting us. Stupid brain, stupid brain, I hate my brain. I mean, I love my brain, but sometimes it's really such a bit. Um, our brain just doesn't like to do anything that's hard. And since there we know something that it's, it's really, really easy to do and we don't get bored of it, your brain will just always choose for it. It's, it's nothing wrong with you. It's not that you will be unmotivated for your whole life and you're just a lazy potato sack. It's just the world we live in. It's making it hard to do anything. That's that's how Facebook and Instagram are making money. So of course they are not going to change it. So you have to fight it, you know. And it's not so hard actually. If you just keep your mindset, like you will actually feel better and more creative, more motivated. If you learn to like put your phone away or your laptop or your computer and just do something or get bored, and your brain will tell you what do you want to do other. Than, than your phone and your PC, for example. Getting bored is like the, the key to getting creative and motivated again, at least for me. So I, I think for other people too, because I have seen some videos about it. So yeah, so that will be, I guess, it for today. I just wanted to, to share my thoughts with you. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it will spark a little what the hell in here again what the hell i wish you a lot of luck in fighting your boredom and doing something good with your with your free time although the hustle culture i hate it everyone around you is now telling you to do something creative and learn something new and you feel like this pressure that you need to use this free time otherwise you will feel guilty and you kind of will actually. I don't. I don't want to make you feel more guilty if you don't do anything. But you can at least do 50-50. Like someone said once, something really smart that I remembered. Everything worth doing is worth doing poorly. So if you want to do drawing in your whole free time and you want to improve really well because we have so much free time. If it's worth doing it, it's worth doing it even only 30 minutes a day. So if you do it like really only 30 minutes a day, you should not feel guilty anymore because you at least try and it's worth, you, what you're doing is worth the thing that you know what I mean. So yeah, I have my fingers crossed for you and let me know if uh, you are experiencing art block, art block, art block, art block a lot lately and what are your methods to deal with it? Is it the same what I said or maybe it's a little bit different or just what works for you? I'm really curious and yeah, I just hope, really hope that you will try to do what I just told you. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful and if you liked it, if you liked watching me talking to you, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm a growing small YouTuber. YouTuber, I call myself YouTuber, oh, that's crazy. Uh, subscribe to my channel, the bell icon, so you get notified every day I post because I always post amazing videos, remember, so it's worth it. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'm a lazy person, so I need a lot of motivation and thumbs ups motivate me and just the same as subscribers. So yeah, otherwise I'm going to be lazy, yeah. So maybe I should just get bored. So I will make a new video. Yeah, no, I just, ah, kind contradicting myself. Anyway, just show me some love. Leave a comment below about your thoughts on this topic. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.